Hey guys, it's been a while. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update video. Uh, I want to talk about my uh, training. I want to talk about my recent half marathon race just last weekend. I want to talk about my upcoming marathon in like a, a week. <laughs> Uh, and also a little bit about some other stuff. So uh, let's get into it. So it has indeed been a while since the last video. I, as I always say nowadays, I've been saying it for a while that I'm intending to get back into videos and, and I, I really am intending to. It's just, um, you know, I'm just very busy with my coaching business as a running coach. Training has been, since my marathon last year, it's been a little bit up and down, just been very busy with moving into my little house here, uh, setting things up here, and just working on my coaching business and building it, and, uh, and of course attending to all my clients. So... Uh, Things have been good. Uh, training has been up and down, as I said, but actually it's been pretty good over the last six months, though. So for the last three months, especially, I've been able to sort of get my volume up a little bit and get in some really good quality workouts. I was training for a half marathon that I ran last weekend. So just a quick summary of that race. Uh, it's uh, called Drammen Half Marathon, Drammen Hall Marathon. It's a city here close close to Oslo, um, flat race, 4,000 people, um, pretty high um, level, a lot of good runners, um, but also slower runners, you know, it's open for everyone. Very good, um, good day. I was feeling great on the day. Uh, the days before I was a little bit tired, but probably quite normal when you're tapering down, etc. But I felt good on the day, went out, and my goal was to go sub 125. Um, I was in a big group with a pacer, pacing for 125. Unfortunately, he kind of ran too fast for most of the race, especially the beginning, which of course cost me a little bit more because I was just on that edge of being able to go under 125, I think. So for me to sort of go a little faster than that pace in the beginning, I think caused me to not be able to go quite sub 125, but I ended up running 125.24, which is really good. It's my best race so far, actually. Um, so it's a PR. My last PR was on tr from 2021, 128.48. Um, so over three minutes PR, um, just fun. Really good stuff. I mean, I was working so hard. I'll put some pictures here, maybe some videos even. It was a brutal race. Like even from like kilometer five or so, I was already, you know, sort of doubting as to whether I would be able to keep up the pace simply because I was working so hard. I wasn't expecting to be working so hard so early, but I was. But looking at the splits, it looks like I was able to more or less keep it up throughout the race and finish very close to my goal time. So my execution, I'm really happy about it. Uh, the 24 seconds are quite annoying, but you know, that's how it is. Uh, just a formality, really. Um, and yeah, overall, just very happy about it. I had uh, my parents there cheering me on. I had some uh, lots of acquaintances uh, looking at the race. And of course, I had several of my running clients here from Norway um, also running in the race. And you know, when you pass each other in the race, because it's like, out 5k, back 5k, out 5k and back 5k uh, approximately. So uh, you see each other several times throughout the race. And a couple of times I was able to even high five my clients as we were passing and, and friends, etc. So uh, that was fun. So it's a good race. Now, I've done something crazy and signed up for a marathon just two weeks after my half marathon. It's, it's not ideal. I typically need a couple of weeks to recover from a half marathon, like 100% to get back to proper training. And that's exactly the time between the half marathon and the marathon. So it's it's going to be a tight fit. But um, yeah, that's just I just wanted to to do it. Uh, so my last half mar my last marathon, of course, didn't go very well. It was a Nice, it was a heat wave. I ended up 
struggling a lot. Um, you know, I made another video about that. Uh, but um, I wanted to give it another try. I haven't been marathon training though. I was focusing on my half marathon, which was like my main priority race this season. And so I've, I've been lacking on the really long runs. I've had one 34K long run, but that's it. Otherwise it's just been shorter long runs of like 20 to 25K and like half marathon specific workouts, which of course sets me up pretty well for a marathon, but not quite as well as I would ideally like to. But then again, I'm not actually prioritizing this race. I'm, I'm doing it more or less for fun because also the route or the, the course is rough. It is not flat at all. It's Oslo Marathon, it's very hilly. So it goes up and down and, uh, and it's gonna be a slow race essentially. So I'm kind of thinking that, you know, on a good day, on a flat course with proper marathon training, I'd probably, again, I'm pretty sure that I am in sub three shape. With that course being like three to five minutes at least slower than a flat course, that means 305 to 310 would actually be my like absolute capacity, I think, in that race coming up now. So I'm gonna even pull it back further and say 315. That's what I'm gonna go for. But if it ends up being 320 or 325, even 329, I'm okay with that because I'm not actually that invested in the time. I'm more all about just having a good race, feeling, you know, the flow of the race, finding a good progression and not sort of collapsing towards the end like I did in this. Um, so my PR from there, or my only marathon time, 3.30, 31, I think. Um, I need to beat that. I need to get under 3.30 though. That's what I really want to do. But I think 3.15, the, the 3.15 pacing group would be a good place to sort of just start out. And then we'll see if I'm able to just keep that up, which theoretically I should, um, or if I'm going to have to back off a little bit and go for like 3.20 or 3.25. But again, I'm not too concerned with the time, just sort of focusing on completing the race and executing a good race uh, in a sort of relaxed sense, like not really putting too much pressure on myself. So that's on the horizon next week. And other than that, after that, I'm going to get back into base training and build a hell of a base. I want to get up to like 100K per week. That's my goal, I guess, before Christmas. And then uh, 2024 is going to be epic running wise. I hope, I think. Fun. I like the process. I like the training. I like all of it. And, uh, and my coaching business is thriving, as I said. So I'm going to keep building that. Of course, if you haven't checked out my ebook yet, I came out with an ebook a few months ago. There's a link in the description. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to check in. I wanted to say hi. It's been a while. I'm looking at getting a new camera so that I can set it up here and really get properly back into the videos because that's what I, I really want to do. But for now, it's sort of like on the back burner a little bit while I'm focusing on attending to my coaching clients and building my business and etc 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 anyways i hope you're doing well post a comment tell me what you're up to you have any races on the horizon any plans any training questions go ahead just post them down below i'll be sure to answer them for you and if uh, if you're interested in any coaching or checking out my ebook or whatever something like that i want to learn about running go check out my website the link is in the description as i said Alrighty, have a good day and uh, happy running. See you around.